Ooh, better light right here. This is my 9 a.m., honey. I'm working late tonight, so I ain't coming in until late. So uh, breakfast for me today is going to be lunch. And uh, I had a craving. I was driving to work, driving into the studio, and I passed Rico's Tacos and Burritos. And I was like, you know what? It's been a minute, and I'm freaking hungry, and nobody makes me happy like Rico's Tacos and Burritos. And this is not a paid endorsement, honey. This is for real. This is just my fat ass eating lunch, okay? So uh, would you like to join me? Great. So uh, let's go order something. You want to come with me? So I'm at the, um, what's it called? I always forget this thing. It used to be called the Pantry years ago. Uh, but now it's called the High House Food Mart. Yeah, called the High House Food Mart on Old Apex Road in downtown Cary. Let me put on my glasses so I can see y'all. Um, first of all, I gotta show you something. <laughs> By the way, feel free to share this. Um, I have to show y'all something though, look. All right, I'm gonna put this here so you can see my new contraption. Ooh, when did that happen? Old ass car, okay. Y'all watch this. I'm gonna take off my sunglasses. Watch, watch, watch. So you see this thing? It's an umbrella. But look. I gotta show you this. This thing is genius. All right, so you pull the little thing. Look. You pull the little thing. It might be a little big for my car. And then, you take it, look at this. This is genius. Y'all ever seen anything like this? Look. You take it and put it on your head and strap it on and you got an umbrella. Look. All right, hold on. I'm about to take y'all in here to go get a taco. But I had to put on my head umbrella first. Wait, maybe I should put this on outside of the car. It's kinda hard. Yeah. Hell. Hello, much better. Okay, so let's go and order us a burrito, okay? Hell, I can't get out of the car. I gotta get my wallet. Let me go around the other side, okay? All right, so I'm live here. You like my umbrella, my head umbrella? All right, let me get my, um, my wallet, hold on. All right, so if you're wondering about this head umbrella, it's called a um, a head umbrella. I don't know where to get it. I got found it on Amazon. I was looking for a hands-free umbrella, and this is what I came up with. Isn't this great? Look, I'm walking right now. Hello. Okay, so we're here at the taco truck. Let me show you the, um... all right, there's no menu. Rico, where's the menu? There's no menu, so I'll show you the menu in a second. Hey, boo, you got a menu I can show? Uh, Alright, they're putting up the menu. I'm here, riders are opening. Huh? I'm alive right now. Oh, you're alive? Yeah. Uh, it just won't stay up. Oh, it won't? Alright, uh, it's raining today, y'all, so it won't yeah. stay up. But I already know what I'm getting, so it's okay. Alright, so let me let me flip around here. All right, here it is. All right, there's the menu. We're not putting it up because it's raining, y'all. Hey, Cambria, hey, Rebecca, hey, Lori. All right, there you go, there's the menu, y'all. All right, so I'm gonna get um, the burrito, the um, steak burrito with all the shit on it. Oh, hey, the, what was it, the Philly one? With the onions, peppers, mushrooms? No, with the, um, that one. That one, the one with the fries and the, the cheese and the, the sour cream. Okay. Yeah, I'm Sorry, getting the California. Steak? Yeah, steak, please. That's it? That's all. All right. Um, $8, $8.58. All right. You doing all right today? I'm doing good. How yeah, you doing? Good. All right, y'all keep the change. Okay, Just, you. you know, holler when you're ready. All right. All right, y'all. Right, I'm going to go back to the car. It's raining. It's cold. And I'm wearing flip-flops like a dumbass. Okay, hold on. Girl, I'm hungry as hell. And I'm taking off, look, I gotta show y'all my umbrella though. This thing I'm very, very excited about. Have y'all seen this? 
It's a head umbrella. <laughs> Hands free. Okay. Oh, Cambria, you're so sweet. All right, let me get this thing off. I'm gonna put it in the back seat. And I'll close it. So how y'all been? I know I never go live during the day. People are like, what the hell? But I've got my ADD medicine back. So I'm, I'm cooking y'all. <laughs> you got big hair, Deborah. Oh, you got the Pentecostal hair. It's not that it's big, honey. It's that you fluff it and use a lot of hair products. I understand, honey. You know, I grew up Pentecostal. I know all about the Pentecostal hair. In fact, if I had hair, that's the kind of hair I would have because I ain't trying to have it move. So it's actually easy. That's why I have um, a bald head because uh, when I had hair, y'all, I used to try to spread out. I used to grow it out a little bit longer on the top and, um, and then I would try to spread it out because I had a hair transplant and so I have hair up there, but it's real ultra blonde. And so I would spread it out and I'd constantly be obsessed with it. So anyway, you, you're ADHD too. So as you can uh, imagine, uh, if you are ADHD and have medicine that you take, you might understand that there are some impulse control problems. My glasses are dead or uh, dry, not dry. What's the word? See, all my circuits still aren't firing. It takes like two or three days for that medicine to get back into my system. Today is the day where I don't feel like cussing out everybody who doesn't smile at me. Uh, because that's basically that's how I feel sometimes. If you don't smile, then I just really want to cuss you out and be like, what the hell's wrong with you? But anyway. So, what are y'all doing for lunch today? Tell me what you're eating for lunch. Tell me what you're doing. Are you working? Are you at home? I'm just waiting on my burrito. I got the steak burrito that's got... Um, cheese, sour cream, french fries, carne asada, which is steak, uh, if you are uneducated and don't speak Espanol. Carne! So listen to some music, y'all. So today I'm working on a um, video for Taco Bell Live Moss Scholarship. And um, so I'm uh, finishing that up today and I'll have that posted for Miss Ashley. Cheeseburger at work, local place delivers. It's raining there too. Girl, it's raining. I'm I'm really surprised. I'm even I have a smile on my face uh, with the rain, uh, but I do. So y'all, we've got this um, issue in our neighborhood. Let me tell y'all about this. I'm gonna tell y'all about a little drama in our local town. So we've got this neighborhood. We got um I don't know if y'all have one. Uh, but we have one. It's, it's a homeowners association. Some people have them. Some people don't. If you're real country, you probably are like, hell, that's why I live in the country. I can't stand nobody telling me what to do in my house. Well, I live in a neighborhood where people try to tell you what to do. So they are um, re-electing. Re if this is making you smile a little bit, please share it. Please heart. Um, but we have the homeowners association and they're doing the elections. Now y'all may not remember this, but I had a post a while back about uh, transgenders and the military and all that stuff. And it was, you know, it was an uneducated opinion at the time. I have since changed my opinion. However, at the time I had a different opinion. I'm not gonna get into that because that's not the subject at hand. However, I had this um, lady from our neighborhood uh, who didn't like what I said. And she came on to the post and she started um, attacking people on the post my personal post and then she tagged her sister and her sister comes on and she starts attacking people and then she took it uh, private and I said listen honey if you want to uh, fuss at me you need to take it private she took it private and I was like and um, also I said um, get your husband in on this because I don't want to have to cuss you out without your husband around because I really don't like to speak that way to a woman unless her husband or boyfriend or whoever is around unless she can fight for herself and then that's fine you know, because I'm, I'm equal. I'm equal opportunity. I'll cuss anybody out if you ain't acting right. And it's, I expect to be cussed out if I'm not acting right. You understand? So, anyway. Am I live on my personal page or on the crafting page? I meant to go on the food and crafting page. Anyway. Thank you for sharing, Kathy, by the way. I saw that. So, anyway. So, she gets um, food porn in a second. I'm waiting on them to fix my burrito. I've, um... So... Basically, so she's, um, we get this Neighborhood Homeowners Association newsletter, and they are having a um, new election. And there's only one vice president candidate for our Homeowners Association, and it's this bitch that was on my post attacking people. 
about their opinions. And she's one of them kind of people that's like, and I've since, I'm not like this anymore. I used to be like this. If you didn't agree with me, I would just jump on you and cuss you out and call you stupid. I have since changed. I don't do that stuff anymore. I understand that um, sometimes people's opinions are based on their life experience, just or it's just they just stupid. So you just have to like let people be stupid, right? You ignore them. You move on. You don't have to get in a fight with them. You just move on. So. This is one of those situations. And so we get the thing, and how about the only person running for VP of the Homeowners Association is this girl. Now, mind you, there have been other people in our neighborhood that have been nominated for these positions. But for some reason, she is the only one that made it onto the ballot. So I felt like it was necessary to let people know on the page, on the, on the neighborhood page, that listen, y'all need to know that this is the type of person that if you don't agree with her, she's gonna attack you. Not only is she gonna attack you, she's gonna bring her friends into it, her family into it. And uh, this might not be the most level-headed person to be running for the homeowners association, especially since we don't have a choice. And we found out this other guy in the neighborhood, Paul Paget, which I love their family, I love the Paget family, uh, was uh, nominated to be VP. Same thing happened for the treasurer. Only one treasurer was um, nominated, which I'm fine with. I love the, uh, the only person I have a problem with is that VP. And um, but anyway, to make a long story short, all of these people keep moving. What happened? Yes, keep moving, honey. So um, I was like, what? Am I moving? Did I stop? So anyway, so I'm I'm pissed off. I'm pissed off about this homeowner association thing because we're having to spend money and. There's all these issues related to the page and everything like you know, they're like if you uh, Attack a neighbor on the page then we're gonna delete and block you and it's like well That's the only way that you can communicate with some of these people that you don't know Like I can go on that page and like the other day somebody was posted uh, Was parked over the sidewalk constantly so where you have to walk out in the street in order to walk You can't walk on the sidewalk. So I went up there and made a post because I don't know these people they're renters I don't know what their situation is. I don't know how many people are living in the house. I figured there's a lot of people in the house because there was somebody in the driveway. So I'm like, listen, I'm going to post on here and I'm going to make a video. And if it gets to them, great. They can move their car. If not, well, at least I tried. But I ain't going up to somebody's house and banging on the door to tell them that they need to move their vehicle. It's not going to happen. Uh, because, you know, people are crazy. And this is the South. And people have guns. And all they need to do is have a reason. They just be like, you were too aggressive. And they'll shoot your ass. So I think a Facebook page is good if you need to say uh, deliver a strong message to somebody but are not inclined to go banging on the door like an idiot, okay? Hey, Naomi, let me see who all's here. Diane, Lauren, my Kathy, and Robbie, and Jody, and Rebecca, and Sandy. Oh, they're ready. Food's ready. Okay, hold on. Let me go get my food. All right. All right, let's go, y'all. All right. Yeah, put it all, everything. Stick your foot on it. Y'all, they have like the cleanest food truck. Look how clean it is. He's always cleaning too. Look at that grill. You see that? Ting, ting. Y'all quit looking at his butt. Quit it. So they're putting some guacamole on there right now. You had to get a defibrillator and a pacemaker? Oh my God, Diane, are you okay, honey? Well, you would not be eating with me today. We're gonna get you some um, vegetables and some water. We want you to be healthy, honey. All right, so here we are, we're at Rico's. <laughs> Naomi, you crazy. Put some roll tacos in there for you too. Awesome. You put what? Roll tacos. You did? He put roll tacos in there too. Awesome. I need to, when are you doing the surf and turf again? So are you going to do the surf and turf again? Um, soon. All right. I'm, I'm not allowed to, well, I got to ask permission every time I do put another menu item on, on my menu. Uh, it's the uh, health department yeah. issue thing. So I got to ask permission to add another menu item. To health it. department, smell department. <laughs> I say it's easier to ask for forgiveness than permission. <laughs> All right, bye, y'all. Thank you. Thank you.
I've got you tagged on this, so if you want to post All it, right. feel free. Bye, y'all. All right. I got my food, y'all. Duana, where's Duana at? This is for you. Bloop. Ooh, that was real close. Okay. All right, here we are, y'all. Let me eat my lunch real quick. At least get a bite, because I'm hungry. He put some rolled tacos in there for me. So um, let me put here, this here, because I'm about to eat me some food, y'all. Are you with me? Can you see? This is the best I can do for an angle. So what I have here is this giant burrito <laughs> from Rico's. All right. Let me get it close, y'all. Once I get it open, I'll um get I'll show I'll move it closer. Look at that. I need to show y'all how big this is. Now I've done a little food thing about their um, roll tacos before. But look at this burrito. Do you understand? Now this is my face. You know, I'm a big man. Mm, I could sleep on that. Okay, look at this. You ready? Y'all ready? Here goes. Mmm. 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 Guacamole. French fry, cheese, steak, sour cream. Holy shit. Well, I'm sorry if, if profanity offends you, but um, you just a crusty old bitch. This shit is good, honey. Mmm. Oh my god. Okay. I am now done eating on camera. I'm not even giving you my full range of emotions right now because I really don't want to be ugly. Look at how good this is. Mm, look at that. There is meat. Let me tell you why I like this. All right. You go to Taco Bell, you get a burrito. Every bite, you get different things. You might not get meat in every bite. You might not get sour cream until the very end. Look at that. Every bite, you get an ingredient. You get the ingredients. Okay. Mm. Y'all, if you're local and carry, I hope you'll come out and support Rico. Get you an amazing burrito. And then, you know, you know, half of y'all work out, so you just go and work out to work off the calories, honey. But he's got healthier options. If you're so inclined, I'm sure he can leave the steak off if you don't eat if you don't eat the meat. Have you a French fry burrito, honey, whatever. But go and support, honey. They're local. Go and support. And if you don't have a Rico's in your town, well, I'm sorry, but your town sucks, okay? <laughs> but you don't. Just your town. Mm. Okay, I love y'all. I'm going to finish my lunch. Um, I'll be posting a supply list tomorrow for crafting with me. If you want to go ahead and jump ahead, jump the gun, start collecting empty water bottles like your Dasani bottles your Nestle pure water bottles whatever you're gonna need about 10 or 15 of them empty okay this burrito you like how I say burrito burrito I don't pronounce the T honey I ain't got time for that shit all right love y'all go get you a burrito bye